Welcome to basic English class. In the previous lecture, I told you how to put all the parts of speech in one sentence. But here I will tell you about adjectives. Adjectives play really an interesting role making sentences. For instance, you describe the quality of nouns or pronouns. He is a good man. She is a good man. She is a nice lady. So here, she is a girl. He is a boy. He is a man and you are telling about the characteristic quality of these two people. So most of the time you tell the quality of non-living things. Like this marker is really amazing. This marker is expensive. So telling about the adjectives. Most of the adjectives end at these letters. You will find A, B, L, E. Able at the end of some adjectives. For example, trustable. He is a trustable man. That trustable man met me outside the hospital. Movable, the things we can move easily. Movable. So when you Google the adjectives, you will see a list of adjectives with these endings. L, economical, mechanical, technical. He is a technical man. Practical, it's a practical knowledge. Practical, AL at the end of adjectives. 8. Passionate. He is a passionate man. Full. Beautiful. Wonderful. Like full coming at the end. It has double L at the end. But when it comes with any other word like beauty, then the last letter you have to remove. Beautiful with single L. This is the spelling rule. Ick. Microscopic. So microscopic, I see coming at the end of the adjective. Then ing and ed. These two adjectives are really very common. Interesting, interested. Shocking, shocked. Exhausting, exhausted. So this book is interesting. You're telling about an object. This book is really interesting. And when you say I take interest in this book. You would say, I am interested in this book. So these two are different things. Not, I am interesting in this book. This would be wrong. Many students just text me, Sir, I am interesting to learn your English course. Or, I am interesting to join your English course. This is a wrong sentence. I am interested to join your course. Let me give you another example. This news is really shocking. Oh, this is a shocking news. So, news is shocking and I am shocked to hear this news. Shocked, I am shocked. You can also say I am interesting, but the context would be change. I am interesting. I am interesting personality and that person, that girl is interested in me. Or I am an interesting lecturer and that institute is interested to take my services. So interesting, I can be interesting, but the context would be change. Then you see ish, stylish, preggish, like he is a stylish man. You would say, you would see ish at the end. If, expensive, selective, selective, this is adjective. Less, very common, hopeless, worthless. So less you would see helpless. And then OUS, dangerous. OUS coming at the end. Why? Happy, fluffy. And these two ER and EST are quite common because these are used to make the adjectives gradable, non-gradable, comparative, superlative. For example, uh, when you say that man is longer than, taller than that man. Like this man is taller than that man. So you are comparing between two people. When you compare between two people, you use ER. This house is bigger than that one. Bigger contains ER at the end. So ER comparing between two things. Then EST, when you make superlative degree, you compare with the whole class. Like he is the tallest man in the class. Tallest is for all the people. Like you count all the people in the class to compare that particular man. 
he is the tallest man in the class. Then you see more and most, more and most, maybe or, sometimes more comes and sometimes most come. So most for superlative degree and more for comparative. Like I am more intelligent, no, I'm not more intelligent than that man. So compare between two things with this word, with specific adjectives, because you can't say uh, uh, he is interestinger or he is beautifuler. You can't say beautifuler or you can't say passionator. Like he's a passionate boy. No, he is more passionate than that lady. He is more, it is more expensive that, than that one. So you also have to use THAN than to compare. Then we see most for the superlative. I am the most interested personality to teach you English. So I say I am the most interested personality. I'm the most interested person to teach you English language. So these, this is the morphology I have taught you. So in the coming lectures, I will elaborate further things. One more thing, you can convert some adjectives into adverbs. Remember this formula. The morphology of adverb is ly at the end for most of the adverbs. For example, you convert nice to nicely. So nice, she is nice. And how does she talk? She talks nicely. Nicely is adverb and nice is adjective because nice is describing the person and nicely is describing the action of the person, the verb of the person. How does she talk? She talks politely. Like the, the person is polite and talking politely. So you understand the difference between uh, adjective and adverb. Now you learned you can convert most of the adjectives into adverb like beautiful, beautifully. She talks beautifully. She writes beautifully. So ly, coming at the end ly. Next thing I would like to tell you, some adverbs contain er and est. He runs faster than that man. Like here, the comparison is between running. How does he run? He runs faster than that person. He speaks nicer than that one. Like he talks nicely than that one. So he runs faster than him. So faster is the right word here. So you also learned the morphology of adverbs with this topic, morphology of adjectives. And I also taught you how to use them in real language in sentences. Thank you very much for watching the video. If you like it, please share with your friends. Take care. Bye.